What is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your 6th WordPress theme development tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be giving you a bit of hint what functions.php is in WordPress and again it is a special file just like index or header or footer which do have special meanings for WordPress framework so first of all just go ahead and create a simple functions Dot PHP and make sure you have the same name functions dot PHP and not function dot PHP or any other file so once you are done with that just go ahead and create a PHP opening PHP tag and one thing you might want to know is that if your file only contains PHP code then it doesn't need to have a closing PHP so if you're code is just in PHP then you can just pretty much do anything you want to do without actually closing the PHP tag so this one is fine as well but this one is fine too so here we go now what we want to do actually is that currently our website kinda looks really bad and even a uh, second class toddler can create a website better than this so obviously you want to add some styles to your website and one of the way you can do that would be like adding a link rel style sheet href then all the way locating your style somewhere and even if you locate it then in style.css now i've got a lot of problems with this now consider this let's say you install a plugin which compresses your website request so that your website lo loads faster and there are tons of plugins like that on wordpress which compresses your resources like css javascript on the fly and pretty much serves them in a very small size to the user so that you know your website loads faster but the thing is that when you hard code things like these this is a hard coded style sheet then not only plugins can detect this actually there's a couple of more problems as well well the first one is obviously that plugins which you are using cannot detect that you have inserted certain styles or scripts secondly let's just say you are already making use of jquery script script src let's just say somewhere you found jquery.js and uh, let's just say another plugin actually wants to make use of jquery as well so if it includes its own jquery library then wordpress doesn't know about that you are already working with jquery so you would your website would work with two versions of jquery so again there are some sort of problem so you know you get the idea that hard coding isn't wordpress kind of thing because wordpress is made to be dynamic so what we can do instead is that inside functions.php you can actually register a script or a style sheet or basically a resource which you want to load on your website so to do that what you need to do is simply create a function let's just say add style sheets and this is a simple function you can name it anything you like and it should say wp e n q u e u e n q style then this is style and the next thing would be get style sheet URI notice that it is URI not URL and this is uniform resource I guess I forgot what this I stands for for L this was locator but for I I guess this is indicator or something like that well anyways so this get style sheet URI would return us this style.css again a special file so this is a handy function then the next thing you want to do is actually call this function but you don't simply do something like add style sheets no no this won't work with WordPress you need to register this function so that WordPress could decide the appropriate place and time to add this style sheet to your document 
and again this functions.php is a special file as I told you so WordPress would take care of everything you write in here automatically so you need to do add action then what you have written is WP and Q style and the function name is add style sheets so that's pretty much it and let's just close this out function and reload view source and uh, reload again and uh, pretty much uh, oh this should be actually scripts instead because you know resource is considered as a script for your page so reload now and you can see that this thing is automatically added by WordPress to your theme so if you open this file pretty much you get nothing because it's still blank so what you can do is you can actually create a comment right here and what this comment would hold is the important information like theme name this would be uh, let's just say code um, WP theme then you don't need a semicolon right there author is may hold or let's just change this to code dam only and why the heck do I just capitalize the first word letter actually then you have author URI and uh, what I am doing actually with all of this stuff is not just regular commentating but actually this style.css this stuff is actually fetched in here right here you can see it automatically changed the name of the theme to code dam wp theme instead of that my first theme which was previously appearing so for all of these themes you can see that 2016 would be somewhere in this style.css right written right here 2016 so author URI you can just change this to your own website URL or something like that and then finally you can give it a version of let's just say I'm getting 1.0 so reload and again you can see that it automatically pops up with information like code name WP3 by code name it links my site down here if you can see then I have this 1.0 information and uh, pretty much now you can even add image for your theme actually but that's not something you would do from the style sheet so that's something for another day but for now let's just focus on our style sheet so now as you can see that our style sheet is being loaded so let's just do some styles so I'm gonna say margin 0 and padding 0 to every element uh, okay so the refresh won't work for now okay so you can see that it's working pretty cool then I just want to get rid of this and in bold I want to say php blog info name only and as you can see and what you can do is write header right here and, and close it in a header tag only and for header you can say 30 pixel padding text align left only border bottom and background could be blue not really but something like this and the color should be white and for body for now what we can do is font family calibri but you can change the font actually if you want to so here goes my styles and uh, for these post sections what you can do is inside your index.php 
you can say for every post article class post so that you can just differentiate between articles and target them as well so you can say href class title and uh, yeah pretty much that's it so for the titles you can say that a dot title is color black text decoration none and uh, yeah so you can add style sheet right there and for header you can even do something like div id uh, my section and why not just write main here and change this to section so again this is starting a section id main so you need to close that in footer so let's close it right here so if i reload and for section id main i can say pretty much that this width would be uh, margin would be zero auto for now or you can just make it 20 pixels if you want to and then again paste your code in here then for section id main for a single article post you can say margin bottom is 20 pixels and border bottom is one pixel solid similar color and padding bottom is 10 pixel and margin bottom is 10 as well so here we go so if i do paste this code right here and uh, if I create another post, let's just say I go to lipson.com and create some dummy text and just copy this right here, paste it, a new post title goes here and just get rid of some of the content publish it see it on the live website you can see pretty much I get a new post so there's a sort of dynamic thing we have developed and with style sheets equipped you can do wonders with your website and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and obviously in the next further tutorials we will be creating some more awesome stuff with wordpress and its capabilities so stay tuned and again don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching